Hey folks, AWR Hawkins, Breitbart News, up here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with Caroline Levitt, who is, I'm good, good to see you again. We saw each other at Turner Point uh, in Phoenix. Yes. Uh, no, in no, Tampa. in Tampa. In yes, Tampa. that's right. It's everywhere in it, I apologize. But anyway, listen, I know you're running for Congress, and we need some folks in Congress to support the Second Amendment. So talk to us, you know, you got some states that the Second Amendment took court decisions mm -hmm. to get a concealed carry permit. What's going to be your position when you're in Congress and things like national reciprocity come up where we can carry in every state uh, just based on the Second Amendment? What's going to be your position when those kind of things yeah. happen? Well, I have been clear since the day that I launched my campaign that I am an unequivocal supporter of our Second Amendment rights. I am proud to be the Republican nominee here in the 1st District of New Hampshire, which is the live, free, or die state. And we have arguably, in my humble, biased opinion, the best Second Amendment culture of any state in the Union. We really, really do, because we value our Second Amendment rights for our law-abiding constituents. And we understand, right, that a good Second Amendment culture fosters safer communities. And so to anyone out there, and I've dealt with some liberal reporters who have said to me, oh, well, aren't you for any type of gun control to stop mass shootings in schools? Absolutely not, because you know what I'm for? I'm for law-abiding citizens, good guys like you and me, being able to conceal carry, protect ourselves, our families, and our homes. And here in New Hampshire, we have that. And people know that if you break into a home in New Hampshire, you are not going to like what you find behind the door, right, when you break it down. And so Second Amendment fosters safer communities in Congress. I will be unequivocal about protecting those rights for my constituents, and I'm proud to have the endorsement of the NRA in this race. Oh, that's awesome. You know, and I, I've done a lot with the NRA. I know that's a great group, uh, especially for an endorsement. Let me ask you about one thing. One other thing, when we think red flag laws, it seems to be in style right now. Red flag laws are a solution for everything. But when I look at California, they have a red flag law. When I look at New York, they have a red flag law. When I look at Illinois, they have a red flag law. But all of those states have what in common? They have the violence of New York City, the violence of Chicago, the violence of LA. And I wonder, what do these red flag laws do? I mean. What's your position on red flag laws? My position on red flag laws or any regulation, any gun control measure, gun control measure, I put that in quotes, right? Because uh, that's the term the Democrats like to use, uh, does not reduce crime. We've seen that time and time again. We've seen it in California, New York, here, Chicago, right? Some of the strictest gun laws in the country, some of the highest crime rates and, and quote, gun violence rates consistently. And so what we need to do is protect those rights for law-abiding constituents. And we've seen this in states like that, and we've seen it at the federal level too, that when you give the government an inch on any issue, they're going to take a mile. And so inevitably, it will infringe on the rights of law-abiding citizens. We've seen it in Democrat-run states and cities that it already is. You know, in Massachusetts, our neighboring state, it takes almost a year to get a permit for to purchase a firearm. For a law-abiding citizen, that is completely egregious. That's not what our founding fathers intended. They were very clear. So in my opinion, laws like that are completely unconstitutional. Uh, and I will never support them in Congress. Caroline for Congress. So good to speak good with to you. Good to see you again. Godspeed on your campaign. Thank you. Great to be with you. Thanks, you too.